So I moved to Japan. Moving to Japan is a plan about four years in the making. In 2020, I had just graduated with my associate's degree and I was looking into bachelor's degrees and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. At that time, I hadn't been doing YouTube or Twitch or any of that. Then I came across these YouTube videos by a guy called Abroad in Japan and he talked about being an ALT and teaching in Japan and living in Japan, his videos really resonated with me. So I decided to look more into the programs that he was talking about. And I saw their entry requirements and I realized it was something that I could really shoot for over the next two or so years. Obviously in 2020, the world ended up shutting down for a while. And it was coincidentally the same year that I was supposed to go to Japan for the first time with a school trip but in March it was canceled for obvious reasons. Over the next few years, I kept working both at my degree and at the hockey rink, and I ended up getting more and more into YouTube and Twitch streaming, which was something I did not see coming. And it ended up taking over a lot of my life. And about a year ago, I graduated with my bachelor's degree, and I started applying to all these different programs. And eventually I did end up getting hired, but the company told me that it would be a about a year before I actually ended up coming to Japan. So in the meantime, I continued Twitch streaming, making YouTube videos, things that in the last few years I had discovered a real passion for. And I'm sure if you've been on this channel for a while, you've seen the videos and how they've developed over the years. And I'm really happy with how it's going. And as far as the Twitch streams go, those have come kind of out of nowhere. It was kind of a split second decision to start doing that and I really fell in love with that and to this day, I still really, really enjoy doing Twitch streams. But finally, March rolled around and it was time for me to come to Japan. I said goodbye to everyone that I know and got on a plane and flew 13 hours to get here. And I actually ended up filming something in the hotel as soon as I landed. Here you go. Now at the time of checking into that hotel, I actually thought I was going to be there for quite a while, but it turns out that the very next day I was going to my apartment. And before I could even do that, I needed to sign a bunch of paperwork, I needed to get an ID. There was so much to do on that next day. And as soon as I finished everything, I sat down for my first night in my new apartment and I filmed this. Well, another day has come and gone. Uh, I believe the last you saw of me was yesterday when I arrived at my hotel, very hungry, very tired. I'm still hungry, unfortunately. I haven't eaten today. But, update, I'm in my apartment. Uh, the actual apartment tour will come in a separate video that will be very small because the apartment is also very small. But it is very nice. I like it quite a bit. Today we just did a bunch of paperwork. I did paperwork from like 9am to 5pm. I did not eat. I haven't gone to the bathroom yet today, which is probably more of a me issue. I still have some stuff to do today. I have to plug in my fridge and microwave, which came unplugged. Which is weird because everyone else that I came here with all their stuff was plugged in, so I guess I'm just unlucky. But that's all for today, I think. Uh, I have to go plug in this fridge and microwave, eat and shower. Uh, so I guess I'll see you when I see you. Now I didn't film much over the next few weeks because I was really busy or out exploring and honestly, I should have ended up bringing my camera a lot more than I did. I had a lot of fun exploring the city with my coworkers, and in that few weeks between arriving and training, I went all over the place, and it was a lot of fun.
now that I'm a few more weeks removed from starting work, I've gotten a lot more perspective on my job, my daily life, and even content creation while doing it. And it's a lot of fun. I am going from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day. I am very busy and very happy. Uh, it's definitely one of the better decisions I've ever made. I know I'm still technically in the honeymoon period. We are only about two months into me being here, but it's, uh, it's been crazy and it's been a lot of fun. And I wouldn't trade this experience for anything in the world. Now to explain why I came to Japan. As a lot of you from Twitch and older YouTube videos know, I'm legally blind, which means that in the United States, I can't have a driver's license, nor should I. To be very clear, I definitely should not have a driver's license. But it kind of makes being an adult in the United States really difficult. For me to go anywhere, I have to get an Uber or a friend or a family member to take me there physically. And honestly, it made me feel like a burden. And I know any family members or friends who are watching this video, I know you didn't think I was, but it felt that way to me. And there's a lot of countries that I could have moved to that could have resolved this. Countries with good public transportation. And Japan was probably on the top of that list. I actually came to Japan two years ago to visit some friends, and I absolutely loved it. That trip actually confirmed to me that I was on the right path and should continue doing what I'm doing. While it wasn't just a transportation thing that made me uproot my whole life and move it 8,000 miles away from my family and friends, it was a big, big thing. Because I feel like a lot of people who can drive underestimate how important it is to be able to drive, especially in the United States and especially in Florida specifically. And I do genuinely enjoy teaching. Every day I go to school and meet the kids and talk to them and ask questions. They are so much fun and great to work with, as well as my co-teachers. All of them are fantastic people. Honestly, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out and that is perfectly okay with me. I absolutely love not knowing where this is going to go. I'm gonna keep creating content both on Twitch and here on YouTube. The YouTube content on this channel should stay mostly the same. I'm still gonna create a gaming video a week, hopefully. I'm getting new internet installed very shortly, so hopefully everything will turn out okay. But also, I'm gonna create a new channel made just for Japan videos, where things like my apartment tour and some other stuff will go on whenever I have ideas. That one won't have a set schedule, mostly because I have no idea how to edit live videos. And you'll see in this, this is my first attempt at doing that. So if it turns out good, I'm happy. If it turns out meh, it's kind of what I expect, but I'll do my best. But as always, thank you so much for all the support on all my videos. It really helps me. All the likes, the comments, the subs, it's been absolutely nuts beyond anything I honestly could imagine. Thank you to the Twitch folks. You guys are awesome. You guys are there for me every stream and you're wonderful, crazy people. And until next time, stay safe, stay hydrated, and goodbye everybody.